Hey guys, Aridania here. I'm really sorry that I didn't post this video yesterday. I was super busy with schoolwork and I just had no time and I'm kind of exhausted. But I'm making this video today. I'm doing a book review on Flowers in the Attic by V.C. Andrews. Um, wow. Where do I even start with this book? First off, look at this cover. It is beautiful. It gets an A plus cover. Um, so basically the gist of what this is about is this family. There's four children, Kathy, Chris, and the twins, Corey and Carrie, and uh, their dad is killed in a car accident, and they don't have any money. They're running out of money. It's just their mom who uh, she sends letters to her parents, and whom they've had like a falling out, and so they're going to live with their grandparents, but it turns out their grandfather is sick and dying and rich, so they could inherit the money. But the grandfather does not know the kids exist, and he never can. Therefore, they have to spend um, all their time hiding in the attic, like the attic room, like the room, and then the room that leads into the attic. Um, and it's supposed to only be for a night, and then a week, and then maybe a month. And but it turns out to be three years that they spend in this one room. And an attic and it's crazy I love it just a warning this is really really dirty it is it's dirty it's it's very vulgar um, there's some it's definitely not a YA book uh, it's more just it's I would classify it as an adult book I would um, but I, I love it I love it um, God, it's really good. Like, okay, uh, let's talk about characters. Because I already said the plot. Plot was good. Uh, there wasn't a slow part. I went through this book so fast. Um, but, like, it was crazy from beginning to end. I love the way it's written. It has so many descriptive words. And it's kind of, like, old-fashioned a little bit. Well, this is a really old book, actually. It was... Whoa. 1979. That's a long time. Well, for me. So this is 1979, but this is a new cover. Um, so yeah, it's, it is an older book. Um, I'm way out of the loop. This was actually, um, this is not a book for kids. Don't read it. If, okay, uh, let's just get it out right here. There's incest in here. Okay, uh, this book is filled with incest. Um, so if incest bothers you in any way, I would recommend not picking this up. Anyways, characters. Main character, also the narrator, is Kathy. Um, I like Kathy. I think she is, uh, she's very young when this starts. I think she's 12 when this all happens. Uh, so she's very young. She's still learning about everything. She doesn't know about what it is to be in love. She doesn't know what it is she doesn't even know what it is like to be a girl. She hasn't hit puberty yet. She's just kind of there. She still has a very childish mind, but you do get to see her grow up a lot during this book. Uh, there's Christopher, the older brother, who... I can't remember how much older he is, but he's not much older than Kathy when this happens. Fifty. Maybe he's 15. I think he's 15, uh, and he dreams about being a doctor. Oh, Kathy dreams about being a ballerina. And, um, Chris wants to be a doctor. He's dedicated his life to researching stuff. He's always has a book in his hand. And, but the only downside to Chris's character that I couldn't stand is that he's a total mama's boy. Like, just saying their mother in this is horrible horrible a horrible horrible person I don't like the mother at all she's a horrible person but no matter what she does Chris always says that she's doing it for them and he just has so much faith in her and it's kind of destroying him and I hate that because I think Christopher is such a good character he has so much potential but he has so much holding him back at the same time but I love that it made for a really good read uh the twins Corey and Carrie Corey's silent into music. Carrie is just out there and flamboyant. Um, then there's the grandmother, who is a psycho, by the way. Oh my god. 
but I like the grandmother who whips people more than I like their mother. Uh, I'm not going to get into spoilers, but if you read it, you will find out what I mean. Uh, this is also a uh, movie just came out. Well, actually, it was a movie, like the original one, and I think the 80th, I think. I haven't seen the original. I started watching it, and it, like, even the beginning wasn't that close to the book, and I didn't, like, I didn't like the beginning of the movie. I think I watched maybe 10 minutes of it, and I was like, mm, no, but I watched the newer one that I actually just came out, like, I think this year. Um, it was on TV. It was actually at, like, a TV special. I watched it really good, really close to the book. Except for the end, the end they had to make a little bit more exciting. I will say the end, it leaves it wide open for the second book, which I am currently reading, is Petals on the Wind. Um, yeah, so this has definitely made it into one of my all-time favorites. Uh, like I said, I love the way it's written. The story is compelling. Uh, you relate to the characters in different ways. There is some humor. It's really dark. It's also very disturbing. So it just covers all the spectrums, and I really love it. Uh, so I give I give this a five out of five. Great read. Uh, so once again, I'd recommend it to anyone that just likes. I like I recommend this to anyone that likes like darker, dis, like more disturbing things. If you cannot handle incest or darker like more disturbing things I would recommend don't read it if you are young okay I'd say you have to be at least a mature 15 okay but if you don't think you can handle it don't but at, you have to be at least 15 to read this so if you're not 15 I don't recommend reading it you need a more like you need a more mature mindset for it and if you are 15 and you don't want to read don't read it okay it's all up to you for this one Anyways, so I love this book. Um, like I said, I'm reading the second one right now. Uh, so that review, should, I'm not done it yet, but that review should be up next week. I'm hoping to finish it by Tuesday next week. And I think I can. I have that much more to go, so it's going good. Um, after that, I don't know. I'm kind of catching up to myself in my book reviews and with school. It's going to be harder to read, but I will try my best. I'm sorry I haven't really done any art vlogs lately. I have been drawing. I am recording them. I just don't have enough to make an actual video right now. Um, yes. So that's really all I have to say. So, oh, sorry my voice is getting raspy. I've been talking too much. I'm getting sick. Uh, but anyways, so please, please comment what you thought in this video. Please request videos. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I put up new videos every Tuesday and I vlog an art vlog every other day. Uh, so I am Aerodania and thank you for watching.